The world was a slightly different place for women in the 19th century. Women couldn't vote, they couldn't go to school, they weren't even expected to speak their own minds. Women of the 19th century were just meant to be stay-at-home moms, nothing else. The women who did have jobs were paid a lot less than the men at the time. Being a woman today may mean a lot of different things, but back then people had their own idea of what a woman was supposed to be. In order to be a woman, you had to be nurturing. You had to be pure, religious, and domesticated. Madame Jeannot, being the type of woman she was, had a different idea. Madame Jeannot is a woman of the 19th century. She is represented as strong and independent in the artwork that I've chosen. Madame Jeannot was a working woman, and not only that, she also owned her own business. There isn't much information on Madame Jeannot, but how she is portrayed shows that she didn't fit the norms that classified you as being a woman. She owned a bar and was very independent. My guess is that in the 19th century, people didn't take that very well. Benton Van Gogh was the artist who painted my chosen artwork. He remained poor and virtually unknown throughout his life, even though he was once considered the greatest Dutch painter after Rembrandt. Van Gogh was known for painting portraits of everyday people, including ones of himself. The painting in this video is of a woman Van Gogh knew. While living in Arulis, which is a city in France, Van Gogh painted two very similar portraits of Marie Jeannot, the owner of Café de la Gare, which is somewhere he often visited. This is one of the two paintings of Madame Jeannot. This particular painting is an oil on a 23 and a half inch by 19 and a half inch canvas made in 1889. The painting can be found in Galleria Nacional de Arte Moderna, Rome. The woman seems to be the slightest bit distorted, but mostly realistic. She has thin, scruffy black eyebrows and black wavy hair that is pulled back. Her skin appears a bit rubbery and has a yellow hue, which can give off the idea that she is an older woman. She is wearing the regional costume of the legendary dark-haired beauties of Ireland. Her left hand is placed on her cheek and her right hand is tucked away under a green table that is in front of her. On the table in front of her, there are two books that are a different shade of green and are painted in a way that makes them appear to be leather covered. The artist used visual texture in her clothing, the books, and even in the background. This next painting is a different depiction of Madame Jeannot. It is also painted by Van Gogh. This painting was painted in 1888 a year before the painting that I chose to research. This painting is an oil on a 36 inch by 29 inch canvas. Van Gogh chose to use some of the same features on Jeannot in this painting, but changed a few things up. In this painting, the background is a bright yellow. It brings a light to the painting that makes you feel happy. She is faced in a different direction with the same left hand placed on her cheek and right hand tucked under the table. Her jacket that was previously black is now purple along with her headpiece. She appears a bit thinner and her skin is now tan. This painting seems to be a younger version of Juno. In front of her, there is still a green table with books, but this time one of the books are open and both of the books are red. With the open book on the table, the artist once again implies that Madame Juno is a reader, which is a very huge accomplishment for a woman in the 19th century. This painting is by Paul Gauguin. It is an oil painting on a 73 by 92 centimeter canvas. It is called Night Cafe at Aurelis, Madame Jeannot, and can be found in Pushkin Museum, Moscow. The painting involves the same woman, but in a broader setting. The woman is painted more of a humanistic person in Gauguin's painting, and in Van Gogh's painting, the woman is somewhat distorted. This is a portrait of Paul Gauguin. Him and Van Gogh were friends. They both left Paris in early 1888 in search of inspiration. In October 1888, Vincent Van Gogh invited Gauguin to Aurelis to try and build up an artist community which Van Gogh had long dreamed to create. Gauguin arrived on October 20th. By December, all hopes had vanished. After this time period, there was the often told tragedy about Van Gogh's attempted suicide. When he slashed his own ear off. Some even say he lost it in a fight with Gauguin. Gauguin fled and never saw Van Gogh again. Van Gogh always felt bitter about this. In Aurelis, Gauguin and Van Gogh worked on the same subjects. Café at Aurelis, Madame Jeannot. 
Gauguin reinterpreted Van Gogh's two paintings by joining together the Night Cafe, being this painting here, and the portrait of Madame Genot, this painting. Early in November 1888, Vincent Van Gogh wrote to his brother that Gauguin was attempting a picture of the Night Cafe that he had already painted, three of whom Gauguin has depicted in the background of his version. Gauguin later reworked the canvas, adding the figure to the extreme left-hand side and the man conversing with the prostitutes. These two figures and Madame Genot herself had already been portrayed by Van Gogh and other artworks. The work is signed in two places, on the marble table and on the billiard table. Gauguin often stole ideas from different people to create his own art, especially from Van Gogh, which caused a feud between the two friends. Vincent Van Gogh wasn't just a portrait painter but the portrait he painted of Madame Genot in 1888 and 89 was very empowering to women in the 19th century. It depicted a powerful, independent, smart, business-owning woman. And for a woman to be all those things in the 19th century said a lot about who that woman was. And by a man wanting to be dominant, by Van Gogh being okay with having an independent woman as a friend, shows a lot about who he was. Over time, women have become more powerful and independent. In the 21st century, we have more equal rights than we did in the 19th century and still continue to fight for all equal rights. We are able to go to school, we are able to be entrepreneurs, and so many more things. We are able to express how we feel and show the world who we are more freely. My artwork is a photograph that I took of a young woman who was in high school. She is standing in front of a beautiful glass balcony. She stands out from her background, just slightly, to make her the focal point of the photo. She is wearing her dance team's jacket that has the name of the dance team located on the back in sparkly letters. I chose to do my artwork this way in inspiration of the changes from the 19th century to the 21st century. Young women of the 19th century didn't have as many opportunities to go to school us as young women of the 21st century have more opportunities. I also have the name of the dance team in the photograph due to the fact that being on a dance team is a way to express yourself. Although Madame Jeannot was expressive and educated, women of her time weren't expected to be as so. This photograph is like a celebration of all the changes that have come for women and hope for more change to come as the years go by.